All right, so let's try this again. This is like the uh, fourth or fifth time I've tried recording this. Okay, what is multiplexing? Multiplexing is a technique in which several signals are combined into one composite signal so that they can all be transmitted on a common channel. In order to transmit various signals in a single common channel, it is important to keep them separated as to not cause interference and to make it possible for the receiving end to easily separate them. Uh, so what does this mean? This basically means that multiplexing is a method used to transmit a lot of signals on the same channel at the same time without causing interference to each other. I hope that explained that. So let's look into the two types of multiplexing. Alright, to resume. Alright, so the two we have two types of multiplexing. Uh, we, we have FDM and TDM. Uh, FDM stands for Frequency Division Multiplexing. Uh, TDM stands for Time Division Multiplexing. Uh, now, as you can probably tell by the name, uh, FDM depends on frequency. So, the frequency will change per signal. Like, each signal will have a different frequency. We will discuss that. Uh, in Time Division Multiplexing, obviously, it's dependent on time. So each, each signal is going to be transmitted at a different time. Uh, this will also be discussed. So let's start with frequency division multiplexing, or FDM. All right, so now that uh, I've explained the, there's, that there's two different types of multiplexing, let's look at uh, frequency division multiplexing, known as FDM for short. So in frequency division multiplexing, all users use the same common channel at the same time, for the full duration of time and however since each user has the full access to the full amount of time they have a limited and allocated portion of bandwidth so what does this mean exactly uh, in summary this means that all the users on one channel can use it for the full duration of the time interval so let's just say for unlimited time but they each have a limited portion of the frequency available to them. Now, because they have the full duration of time to transfer their telemetry, they do not need a large bandwidth. If it was the opposite and there was a short amount of time, then you would need a large bandwidth, but that will be discussed later. So I'm going to draw a simple graph to, to, dem to visualize this. Alright, so I'm going to make the axis is green. A axi, however you pronounce it. Alright, so we have our y axis, our x axis. Uh, now the y axis will be frequency. And the x axis will be time. Right. So I'm going to show this example with three users. Now I'm gonna make each user a different color. So are you gonna get user one or just yeah uh, which is gonna be red. Then user two let's make it pinkish, pink magenta like. And user three will be I'm trying to find a color that I haven't used. Let's make it yellow. Alright, so the in frequency division multiplexing I should probably write that somewhere here let me just write that real quick so this is the FDM in frequency division multiplexing each user has a full amount of time but limited frequency so let me show you what that would look like visualized so user 1 which is yellow this is 2 3 alright user 1 gets will look like this Alright, user 2, so I'm trying to pick the colors as closely as I made them, except I forgot to save them, so that might be a bit different. Alright, user 2, look like this, and finally, user 3 will look like this. 
So, each user, all three users, as you can see, gets the f get the full amount of time available. So from here to here, that's really bad line. But they get from this from here to here. They get that full time available to transmit their telemetry. However, they get a limited amount of bandwidth. So user three gets from here to here. User two gets from here to here. And user one gets from here to here. Now, this obviously limits the amount of data that can be transferred at once. But since they get the full amount of time, it doesn't matter anyways. So, yeah, this is just allocated user one, user two, and user three. Uh, so hopefully that made sense. If yeah. All right. So now let's take a look at uh, time division multiplexing. Uh, in time division multiplexing, each user gets to utilize the full available bandwidth, uh, but can only use it in allocated time slots or time periods. Uh, and this fixes a crosstalk issue. So let's let's talk about what that means. This basically means that each user can use the full bandwidth that's allocated for that frequency. So they can use the whole frequency, but they can only use it for a limited amount of time. Unlike frequency division multiplexing, where they had allocated bandwidths but unlimited time. Now, since they have limited time to transfer telemetry here, they get more bandwidth. And since they have more bandwidth, they do not need as much time to transfer all the data. Uh, what I forgot to mention about frequency division multiplexing was that there is still a possibility of crosstalk or interference since all signals are transmitting at the same time. Uh, in time division multiplexing, that is not po no longer possible. There is no crosstalk in time division multiplexing because no signal no there's only one signal transmitting at a time. No more than one signal is allowed to transmit at one time. So uh, I should be able to explain this way easier. So I'm going to make a graph similar to the one I made for frequency division multiplexing. All right, sorry about the delay. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a graph. The y-axis will be frequency. Like it's gonna be the same thing as the other one. Well, not the graph isn't, but it's similar style. And the x-axis will be time. So once again, I'm gonna demonstrate this with three users. I'm gonna assign them the same colors. So you got one user is going to be red, the other user will be pink, I think it was, pink, and then the third user is going to be yellow. Uh, I'm trying to find a good color, okay, yellow. So, now instead of being horizontal bars, they're going to be vertical bars, and I'll explain why in a second. So, user one, it's going to look like this. Uh, so I'm just going to label this user 1. And uh, I'm just going to do this for the remaining two users. Okay, and the last user. Oh, wait, wrong color. <laughs> uh, 
Um, okay, and the third user, user three. All right. So, as you can see by this diagram, this graph, whatever you want to call it, each user gets to use the full amount of frequency bandwidth available. Uh, they get to use all of it. As you can see here, they take up the whole frequency bandwidth. However, they get limited time well, time periods. Uh, they're referred to as time slots. So as you can see, user 1 gets from here to here. User 2 gets from here to here. And user 3 gets from here to here. So let's say that you have a, a time a time period of 120 seconds 120 seconds total for all three users to transmit all the data needed that means each user gets 40 seconds to transmit each their, their telemetry so this person gets 40 seconds this person gets 40 seconds and this person gets 40 seconds now as you can see we are limited on time but since we have the full frequency bandwidth available, we do not need that much time per user. As I explained in the time in the frequency division multiplexing, we had limited bandwidth to transfer data, but we have unlimited time. So, yeah, once again, we get the full amount of bandwidth and limited time slots. We do not need as much time since we have way more bandwidth to transfer data here. Uh, I'm hoping that made sense, and that's about it.